Hey, y'all. Y'all eating well? We sure. Ooh, Woo. I'm eating good. <laughs> what is it? Oh, the buttons on my pants are socially distanced from each other. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Rolly, for that one. Uh, hey, we're going to send a quick shout out to Noel in San Francisco, Stephanie. Stephanie, in case you guys don't know, Stephanie is the one that introduced us. Oh, what they love at first sight, baby. Oh. Yeah. Thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> and uh, Eric in Texas, music and baseball. He liked that baseball tune, but uh, great to hear from you. And Leah in Santa Cruz also. All four of them hit the tip bucket at MightyMike.com. Give them a little advertisement there, honey. Thank you so much. Them, yeah. If you all dig the music or just want to help out a out-of-work musician, let us know. And uh, right now we're going to cook up a little love in this kitchen, all right? <laughs> this morning uh, we're gonna be uh, cooking up some sweet potatoes and kale wait before you turn it off this will make a believer out of any kale hater I'm telling you when you try, when you try this dish you know my breakfast sweet potatoes and kale and this is all you're gonna need right here uh, part of a, an onion you can use any type you want I, I like yellow onion in this dish maybe a one large sweet potato or, or two small ones and I, I prefer lacinato kale, but you can use any. This is a good starter, beginner kale, if you're not into kale yet. And uh, this is going to crisp up real nice and make a believer out of any of you. All you need is some salt, some good salt, some pepper. And uh, one of my favorite uh, spices to keep around is just a good Italian herb seasoning blend. And uh, so we're going to cook this up. we got some bacon going in the pan because uh, Kimmy needs her bacon first thing. And uh, we'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Still uh, drinking some real strong Pete's coffee today. Shout out to Pete's. Thanks for keeping it rolling. All right. Um, we're going to continue on with this uh, kale bit and uh, uh, sweet potatoes. First thing we're going to do, I've washed the kale. If you've got a salad spinner, that's awesome. You can uh, spin it dry. And we're, gonna, we're getting to that later because that cooks in about 10 minutes. The potatoes take about uh, 30 minutes total. 
So I've got my sweet potatoes cut up into nice uh, bite-sized pieces there. All right, yeah, let's get that. I got about a quarter of a, a medium to large size uh, onion cut up. I'm gonna throw all this in a mixing bowl. I've washed my hands several times today. <laughs> Go wash your hands, everybody. Let's just, anytime somebody says wash your hands, wash your hands. Don't fight. So Actually. like when someone offers you gum, gum they yeah. offer you gum, you gotta take it. Somebody says, hey, do you need a mint? <laughs> somebody says, hey, did you wash your hands? Just don't even question them. So uh, always good to have a nice uh, general purpose mixing bowl. And uh, we're just gonna take a pinch of salt. I don't really do amounts in my recipes. I kind of channel the old, uh, Italian or Jewish grandma, just whenever it feels right. You all experiment with your own spices, but basically a pinch of everything. A little Italian herb seasoning. There you go. And then one of my favorite products I've been digging right now is this mix of canola oil and, and extra virgin olive oil. Um, what brand is that? This is Pompeian, which is not actually one of my favorites, but uh, but this is nice, a canola olive oil blend because it, it'll help the potatoes brown a little more. Whereas usually I cook with the, mostly always extra virgin olive oil. But So we're just gonna do a pretty healthy glob of that. Uh, what would you guess that was, Kim? Maybe a mm -hmm. third of a quarter cup? Yeah, a quarter cup. Mm -hmm. Right, we'll take our spatula. Get a spoon, get three spoons if you got, you know, someone cleaning up the uh, kitchen for you. <laughs> Use every dish in the house. No, don't use every dish. <laughs> and so we're going to stir that up. Uh, just get a nice coating of oil on everything. And uh, let that sit. Now, here's a great product, and this is money well spent. If you can get a cast iron pizza pan. I think they got these on Amazon for about 30 bucks. Amazon, we got that one at Target we for $28. $28. So this is a great thing. But you can, I've got my... Uh, Got my oven up to 450 right now. So you can use anything that'll handle 450. It can be a cooking sh cookie sheet or uh, any cast iron pan, a uh, porcelain uh, coated uh, fry pan, anything that can handle 450 degrees. And uh, you're good. So what we're gonna do is, uh, do that a little quick. We're just gonna slap a little bit of butter. A little bit, just a little bit. Give me last bit of butter. <laughs> And uh, have, all, have you all noticed since this uh, coronavirus thing started that like you're saving bacon grease and stuff like that? Like, what is up with that? <laughs> Not only am I eating more bacon, but I'm saving the grease. I don't. Whatever. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna put a little bit of butter on this pan and uh, put that in at 450 just to get it melted and spread it around. And we'll be back in just a minute. All right, so we got the uh, we got the butter melting in the pan in there. It'll probably take maybe five minutes, ten minutes. Uh, and here's a little trick I do with with kale or any greens, even when I do my collard greens or anything. You can just wash them, put the leaves together, and then roll them up as tight as you can get them. This will give you nice ribbons. And then I like in this dish I like pretty small pieces of kale. So I'm just gonna. Here, and think about my improper method of I didn't go to chef school, so <laughs> I know they do it like that. Why do you like the small pieces, Dave? Well, these are going to turn into wonderful little crispy bits of happiness. So you'll see at the end of it all. So, generally, in my greens, I'll just make. And if you're doing, if you're doing a like a sauteed kale or a or collard greens or mustard greens, these little ribbons work out great. But in this dish, I'm going to go back and cross it, chop it up just a little more. Like I said, you'll see at the end of this dish how this just turns into a bunch of happiness. Here. So we're going to just keep that aside because that goes in the last 10 minutes. And we're going to bring, get our uh, pan out of the stove. I'm using the middle rack. Nice melted butter there. Don't get too excited now, Kimmy. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. She's, ready to, she's ready to eat just that. <laughs> Spread that stuff around a little bit. 
I'm telling you, these cast iron pizza pans, I never even made a pizza on this pan, but it works great for all kinds of stuff. So we're going to do that. And then, uh, let me get the camera a little closer over here, honey. Yeah. We're just going to lay our potatoes and onions in there. Save the bowl, and if you can, save a little. You don't need all the oil out of that bowl. If you're an extra helpful sous chef like I am, don't wash that bowl just don't yet. Don't wash that bowl just yet because <laughs> you'll get yelled at for sure. And then spread it. This is what I really love about uh, this pan. You can spread these things out, give them all their own little social distance. It's not six feet when you're a sweet potato, but or an onion. Probably not practicing social distance in these vegetables, but you do want because the more you can spread these out, the crispier they'll get. So there you go. I'm going to just put that back in. And make sure you got a good set of pot holders. They look like alligators. That's kind of cool. But oh, we may need to revisit the Dr. John video with the pot holders. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, everyone here will. <laughs> anyway, we're putting this in. 4.50. Set the timer for 20 minutes. We're going to put on some Dr. John music. And we'll be back in just a <laughs> All right. One uh while those potatoes are cooking, we're just gonna put this chopped kale right back in the same bowl. Show that bowl. That's a, that's a bowl of love right there. Mm -hmm. Another pinch of salt. Do you love salt? What are they saying about salt these days, Kimmy? Is it good for you or bad for you? It's good for you. Thank you. Especially when you mix it with butter. <laughs> this time I'm just going to use another little splash of uh, extra virgin olive oil. Once again, I'm not my favorite brand, but you know, stores these days, you take what you can get. I do for a run of the store to get some real good olive oil. But uh you need to get a good mask first. Anyway, we're gonna mix that all up and uh wait for these potatoes to be done. And uh see you the next day. Bam! Beep beep! We're back. We got some beautiful sweet potatoes and onion. We cook them for 20 minutes at 450. The middle rack. Doesn't that look pretty? Mommy. You ain't seen nothing yet. And then just lay the kale right on top here. And you don't even have to mix this in just yet because you want to keep those potatoes browning on the bottom. And uh Wash your hands before every step. <laughs> so that's all we're going to do. We're going to leave that for Kimmy to clean up. <laughs> Thanks, baby. <laughs> it is very important that, you know, in every cooking relationship, you know your place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on now. <laughs> yeah, I make the mess and she cleans it up. <laughs> it's really good to have defined roles in a relationship. Spread that out. Oh, look at the color of that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Now, I've also done this with some chicken apple sausage or uh, some different kind of sausage, and you can just scoot the potatoes over. You can lay your sausage right on there, and they'll cook the same, uh, you know, bite-sized bits of sausage. 
Uh, mushrooms too. Mushrooms, yeah. Even some squash. Oh, that was really I added good. some corn. That I stripped off the cob. So you could, you know, experiment. Cooking's just like music. You take your licks that you already know and you combine them with your style. You steal from other people. What? <laughs> We're gonna pop this back in for another 10 minutes. So it's about 30 minutes total. Let me set my timer here for 10 minutes. Timer is a good thing to have in the kitchen. If you don't have one on your oven, make sure you get one or use your phone or whatever. Uh, we'll be right back. We're back, y'all. Another 10 minutes on that kale. On top of the 20 minutes of potatoes. Oh my Ooh. goodness, look at that. Look and I'm telling you, these crispy bits, ooh, that's hot. These crispy bits will make a believer out of any kale hater out there. And there you have it, folks. Sweet potatoes, kale, onions, roasted, threw a fried egg on top over medium, if that's how you like it, or you scramble it, however you like it. Got some bacon, we ate most of the bacon. So. <laughs> Got some fruit there, and some of these Bay's English muffins. Shout out to the Bay's English Muffins yeah, Corporation in uh, Chicago, Chicago Illinois. Illinois. These are the best damn English muffins you ever had. All right, y'all, we're going to get to eating, so we got to go eat well, be well, stay well.